Let's finish this module strongly and show you how to create a purchase order and then place your order with your supplier. Before you're able to finalise your order, you must create a purchase order. You're probably wondering why create one of these for our supplier. The first reason is due to the professional image it conveys when we send it to the supplier. They're used to receiving these from bigger companies, so this helps you come across as an established enterprise. It also creates a record of what was ordered, which makes everything very clear and transparent for both you and your supplier. It also officially confirms the pricing and terms with your supplier. Purchase orders are certainly old school in nature, but it definitely has its place in your business and should be put together with you just as you're ready to place your order. The document creates your system of ordering as well. Every time you place an order in future, your supplier will expect it from you and it's something that you'll be able to file away ultimately keeping your ordering process organised, which is never a bad idea. So then, what should be included in your purchase order? As you can see here, this is an example of what your purchase order will look like. The good news is that there's a free, simple piece of software you can use to create one of these that I'll introduce you to. If you already use an accounting system and it can create purchase invoices, then continue to use that. So what is the software we use and how do we create these invoices in a matter of minutes? Let's jump over and take a look. I am now at a website called invoicely.com. This is great because you can create a free account here and design a purchase order for free. You can edit these forms to change the word invoice to purchase order. You can change the invoice number to say order number. And you probably don't want to start at number one. You could start your purchase order at a slightly bigger number that gives the impression you've been in business a bit longer. You can edit all the fields to show the correct date and name of your supplier. You can add your company name and your address to fully customise your purchase order. Once you've added in the order details with the quantity, price and SKU details, you can just simply save it as a PDF and email it off to the factory. Now that we have our purchase order ready to go, what's next in the process? Well, the first thing you'll do is to email the purchase order to the supplier. The supplier will send back a purchase invoice, or PI as they're known, they will then expect you to send payment via bank transfer or third-party payment international exchange. Don't worry if you're not sure how to do this. I'll show you how this works in the next phase. Next, you'll look to confirm the end production date with the supplier so that you know when to expect the items. At this point, the order is complete and production will begin. You will now liaise with your freight partners immediately, letting them know the end production date well in advance so that they can give you a freight quote and get things moving along with you instead of waiting until the end and panicking that you don't know or have your freight organised. Now, I'm going to go a lot deeper into each of these steps, but I wanted to give you a snapshot of what's to come so that you know exactly where we're going. This module was very heavy and had a lot of things to digest. The good thing about this program is that you can come back to this content in the future and review it as you go through each step with your supplier.